Well, hello, everyone. I'm Anne Marie Green. Good to see you. I'm Vladimir Dutier. We've got a lot of news to get to this morning, uh, including former Vice President Joe Biden one step closer to clinching the Democratic nomination after a night of big primary wins. Mm -hmm. And we just learned, though, that Senator Bernie Sanders has picked up. We're going to show it right here. Right. We're calling it North Dakota. Okay, there you go. So, so a few more delegates there delegates for him. delegates at, at stake there. Yeah. But, um, so that's not the only thing going on, of no. course, today. Uh, coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. We're doing a lot of talking about that. The nation's leading expert on infectious uh, diseases heads to Capitol Hill later on this hour. So Dr. Anthony Fauci is set to testify on the nation's response to the coronavirus. There are so many questions out there. And, and you know, it's certainly like the, the health implications, the e economic implications, you know, what's going to be done. What's remarkable and not remarkable, mm. on the other hand, is how the numbers are increasing within just a couple of hours. Well, we, we seen that happen in China. We saw right. it happen in Italy and in other countries, but we're seeing it now. Well, we knew it was going to happen because more people are being tested, right. but it's not that much more be people being tested. And I think that's another part of the conversation that, we're, that we all are going to have. Right. You know, how are these tests being rolled out? Are enough being people being tested? Um, before we head into that, though, uh, we want you, uh, we want to make sure that you have all the information that you need to know about this outbreak. It is uh, the most recent count is more than 120,000 people across the globe have been infected by this virus. More than 1,030 of those cases are here in the U.S., up from less than 200 just last week, as Vlad pointed out. The virus is linked to at least 32 deaths nationwide and has spread to 37 states and the District of Columbia. In response, 15 of them are now under a state of emergency. That includes New York State, which is taking drastic action to contain one of the country's largest known coronavirus clusters. A containment area of a one-mile radius is being imposed on New Rochelle, which is less than 30 miles north of New York City. At least 108 confirmed cases have been reported there. Meg Oliver takes a closer look. Vlad and Anne-Marie, the plan is believed to be the first of its kind in the country. You're still free to come and go, but a ban on large gatherings here is what the state hopes will help lower the infection rate, now one of the highest in the nation. 